Hello, welcome back to HopeForYourCancer.com. My name is Dr. Herman, and we're going to talk about some more in this section of this website about toxic chemicals that can lead to cancer development in the body. Dioxins. Dioxins are a group of chemically related compounds that are persistent environmental pollutants. Dioxins are found throughout the world in the environment and they accumulate in the food chain, mainly in the fatty tissues of animals. More than 90% of human exposure is through food, mainly meat and dairy products, fish and shellfish. Many national authorities have programs in place to monitor the food supply. Dioxins are highly toxic and can cause reproductive and developmental problems, damage the immune system, interfere with hormones, and also cause cancer. Dioxins are environmental pollutants. They have the dubious distinction of belonging to the dirty dozen group of dangerous chemicals known as persistent organic pollutants. Dioxins are of concern because of their highly toxic potential. Experiments have shown they affect a number of organs and systems. Once dioxins have entered the body, get this, once dioxins have entered the body, they endure a long time because of their chemical stability and their ability to be absorbed by fat tissue, where they are then stored in the body. Their half-life in the body is estimated to be between 7 and 11 years. That means one piece, one bit of ribs or one bit of meat or fish or whatever that has this dioxin exposure in it, it will stay in your fatty tissue for 7 to 11 years causing immune problems. Toxic effects in your body. You don't even have to eat the food again and it could still be in your body. In the environment, toxins, excuse me, dioxins tend to accumulate in the food chain. The higher in the animal food chain one goes, the higher the concentration of dioxins. Humans at their highest, highest part of the food chain, we are the ones more susceptible to absorb more of these dioxin chemicals that cause cancer. Dioxins are unwanted byproducts of a wide range of manufacturing processes, including smelting, chlorine bleaching of paper pulp, and manufacturing of some herbicides and pesticides. When a woman puts a tampon in or a maxi pad and it's white and it's been bleached, you have the risk of having this dioxin exposure. When um, Whatever else, I mean, whatever else, smelting herbicides, pesticides, this dioxin could be part of your herbicides that have been sprayed on the food before you picked them up. Pesticides that are on the coffee or the or grains that you're eating or the feed that they're feeding to the animals that you're eating. The highest levels of these compounds are found in some soils, sediments, and food, especially dairy products, meat, fish, and shellfish. Very low levels are found in plants, water, and air. Short-term exposure in humans uh, excuse me, short-term exposure of humans to high levels of dioxins may result in skin lesions such as acne and patchy darkening of the skin and altered liver function. Your liver is your filter for your blood, folks. Long-term exposure is linked to impairment of the immune system. Your immune system is what you need to function, folks. We need it to kill these bad cells in the body. And the developing nervous system, the endocrine system, and reproductive functions. Chronic exposure of animals to dioxins has resulted in several types of cancer. You want more information about this? Go to World Health Organization, WHO, MediCenter, type in dioxins. WHO, dioxins, and see if you get this one to come up. You could pause this video and write that down and go and look at that website. You can read more information, certain points to share. This can lead to birth defects. It, you gotta be careful where your food comes from and be careful where certain supplements come from because you don't know if it's in these supplements, okay? And products that you use on your own body. Thank you for letting me share this with you. We have ways to remove this from the body. We have ways to accelerate the process to remove this from the body and get the toxins out of your system. Thank you for letting me share this with you. And uh, there's a lot of other information to share on this website. I look forward to helping you. Thank you.